Hey gang, and anybody new that has somehow stumbled upon me, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you're new. Please check out the other videos on this channel because the videos here can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, or body image challenge. Check them out. Please share this channel. There is something here for everyone. Anyway, today, obviously, maybe it's not obvious, but we are in my kitchen. I keep singing the praises of the the air fryer. I love the air fryer and if you're an original follower of mine even, you know that I am obsessed with fries. I'm not even kidding. I love fries. Anyway, I bought an air fryer. It is next level. Everybody keeps asking me about it. I thought way many more people knew about it. I thought way many more people had it. It's so magical. Anyway, today I'm about to show you my air fryer. I'm gonna make fries for you. Takes about six minutes, if that. You can throw burgers in there, any kind of frozen shenanigan that you get at the store. I use frozen veggie burgers or frozen meat burgers. I can toss them in there. I haven't seen anything take longer than about six minutes. Anyway, without further ado, let's fry some potatoes. Today I'm gonna make sweet potato fries. Often I make regular potato too, but today, I don't know, I'm feeling sweet potato. And this is amazing to cut fries with, except first you have to cut the potato small enough to even fit in there. And I mean, ain't nobody got time for that today. That works really nice for regular potatoes, regular russet ones, smaller ones. So today we're gonna go old school. We're gonna use the knife. Now normally I use the spray cooking oil, but I ran out. I buy the avocado and coconut or just avocado or just coconut spray. So I just toss them with a little bit of this virgin coconut oil and then I will be putting them in the air fryer basket and then topping them with a tiny bit of sea salt and black pepper and a little bit of seasoned salt because my goodness, this is so good on fries. Mm. Mm. That is half of a sweet potato, so they have been delightfully seasoned. In they go. And all I'm gonna do is turn this to about 12 minutes. They say you preheat it for three minutes. I don't really ever see a need to. I do what I want. The beauty about the air fryer is you can check it. Like halfway through cooking, you can check, have a look, shake them up, put them back in. That's never a problem. It never ruins anything. So I'm gonna come back and check on this in six minutes when it's halfway and see what we got. It's been about six minutes, so we're gonna check. Yeah. Ah, see, these are getting good. I just usually just give them a shake, settle them down again, and then toss them back in. Okay, so this is them. This is the finished product. It is a little well done for my taste, but that took, oh, there's the ding. That took all of 11 minutes to complete with a little shake around halfway. It also depends obviously on how small you cut the pieces. Look at the beauty of that. So yeah, this is half of my lunch. Okay, and because I do want to show you how easy anything else is in the air fryer, I'm gonna make one of these gluten-free mushroom and wild rice patties. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna take even less time than the fries. There is a little bit of soy in them, which I do stay away from on a daily. However, eight grams of protein per patty, only 60 calories. Delish. And then I'm gonna have it on one of these not gluten-free, don't judge. They're the little one buns. They're only 100 calories, little things like that. I generally don't eat bread, but again, we're having more of a cheat day up in here. Boom, there's the burger patty. I keep it at 400 and we're just gonna put it for 10 minutes and I will check that halfway, give it a little flip and it should only take 10 minutes or less. So I only put these in the toaster because I don't eat bread often enough to not freeze it. So it's always frozen at my house. Anyway, I just softened it up, defrosted it. We've got half fat mayo, some sweet green relish, yellow mustard, sugar-free ketchup. And this is what the veggie burger looks so far. It's been about five minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip that up and we'll eat it when it's done. All right, this is just about to ding. Just gonna help it along. That is what we've got. Took about eight minutes. Yum. Burger time. Delicious. Yum. 
Yum. So that's all there is to it. I mean, it doesn't get any easier and you don't need a microwave. I've reheated pizza. I've reheated many a thing actually in the air fryer or the Instant Pot. That'll be next. If you want any Instant Pot recipe videos, please comment below and let me know or any other air fryer recipe videos, comment below, let me know and I'd be happy to make those for you. Anyhow, if you thought this video was helpful, entertaining or informative at all, please give it a thumbs up down there for me. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time I upload. Please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from and at a thousand subscribers I am going to be giving away a completely free individualized custom nutritional transformation plan for health and weight loss for you <laughs> Anyway, until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun cooking new things in new fandangled devices like these. And I'll see you next time. Bye.